Right now, joining us is Frank Viviano, candidate for Macomb Township Supervisor. Hi, Frank. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. As your opening statement, um, please t tell us why you have chosen to run for uh, the supervisor. Well, I've been here for 20 years or more, actually a little bit more than 20 years, my wife and I. Uh, we now have two young kids that we're raising. And I think with a lot of people um, who are like me, who have children, and anybody who's been attentive to the political climate in our township, uh, you know, I've gotten frustrated. Uh, I've seen the opportunities they've squandered, uh, the infighting and the corruption that's been making all the headlines. And I got to a point where I decided I wanted to do something about it. I reached a point in my life that um, I think I can make a difference. And I think with my leadership, the township can finally get back on track and we can start to really be everything that I thought we were when I first moved here. What are the two biggest challenges you see facing Macomb Township? Well, right now we seem to be mired in our own dysfunction to some, to some degree. Um, we have a lot of great employees and a wonderful group of residents. My neighbors are all fantastic. But because of the dark cloud that the scandals have caused, uh, there seems to be a lot of suspicion, finger pointing, and infighting at the township board. Uh, all of that has gotten in the way. And so instead of focusing on all of the things that can make our lives better, fixing our roads, working with the county to m make improvements, look at our park situation, that all gets sort of obscured under this dark cloud of you know, corruption and, and indictments and everything else that's been going on. So we need to clean that up, and that's going to be my first priority. And then once we're all pulling in the same direction, we can focus on all those things, and we can start building a better tomorrow. Great. As supervisor, you oversee 11 different departments. What experience do you have in managing people? Well, that is one of my strengths coming into this campaign. Um, I come from a background of a business ownership as well as business management. Uh, with, you know, I went to school, I have an accounting background, worked in public accounting, uh, a law degree. But for the large part of my career, I managed Viviana Flower Shop, which is um, actually one of the largest flower shop of its kind in the country. We had 135 employees with multiple departments, most of which reported to me. I ran multiple projects, and I know it sounds a little funny thinking a flower shop of this large uh, organization, but actually ours was. It was very different than what one might think of as a small mom and pop flower shop. So I have a vast amount of experience managing people, working with department heads. And in my current role as chief of operations of a construction company, I've taken on a whole new industry successfully, and I'm managing that business as well. So I believe of, of you know, of the qualities that really make me the right person for this job, my management skills are right up there. Great, okay, thank you. The township super supervisor is often seen as the face of the township. What will you do to make sure the township is seen in a positive light? Well, that's an interesting question. I, I just had this conversation with uh, one of our high school students, uh, and I was telling him and his parents that one of the things that is most concerning, um, especially not just in Macomb Township, but in all of our area, is that our talent continues to leave the state. You know, we graduate from these wonderful universities, U of M, Michigan State, uh, but there's no jobs here for that level of talent. Well, I've talked to our county leaders, and they want to reverse that, and I want to reverse that too. So I am the right person to get out, promote our township, promote all of our assets, and let's start bringing in the next generation businesses so that the leaders that we're developing right here in Macomb Township, they have somewhere to go when they graduate. Great. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to answer our questions today, and I'd like to give you a few minutes to do a closing statement for the well, community. Thank you. Um, you know, our township's great. You know, I, I saw the qualities of some place that I wanted to call home 21 years ago. And I still think all of those qualities are here. We just need to get past all of the things that are distracting us. And I think with all the experience that I bring, and with a fresh set of, you know, a fresh voice on the board, someone who can really unite everybody under common purpose. And I just want to focus on common ground. 
and I'm happy to disagree with people, that's part of the process. But I'm going to do it in a way that's polite, professional, and allows us to continue to move forward despite any differences we might have. Great. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you.